What's up everyone, Terry Schwartz here from IGN to talk about the fourth episode of Marvel's Luke Cage. Hopefully you didn't click on this. If you haven't seen the fourth episode of Marvel's Luke Cage, it's right in the title. It's right in the title, we don't want to spoil you. So consider that your requisite spoiler warning because this actually does have some bit, pretty big spoilers, we all know. We, we comic book fans love our Easter eggs and this episode was loaded with it. Not only was it Luke's origin episode, but we got, you know, we got to see it's right there, the Power Man outfit. It, it, it's a really funny moment, and I'm actually terrible typically at picking up on Easter eggs, but it was such a big enough moment and such an iconic outfit, and I think they were able to work it into the show in, in a really cool way that didn't feel um, like it was pandering. That that was one of my favorite scenes in this episode. Obviously, so much else happened. We, we learned about what was happening with Luke at Seagate, which in itself is an Easter egg because we know that that uh, was, was a key element of the short All Hail the King. Uh, we find out how he got his powers. We see Reva a lot. We get to know his wife a lot, which is sort of an Easter egg. She's a key character, but also was very key to Jessica Jones. And we see the infamous USB stick that brought about her, spoilers if you haven't seen Jessica Jones, but you should have because it came out before this series, um, but her death in Jessica Jones, which was another great Easter egg. I think it's interesting that Luke Cage this far in hasn't really gone out of its way to connect to the events of Jessica Jones, which obviously is is what we as the audience were introduced to him in. Uh, but, but this was a really cool way to bring that back in. And also just small things like recalling him Carl Lucas, which was his name before he became Luke Cage in the comics, and, and having these other cool moments like that. Now we're gonna go back and rewatch these episodes and, and all the Luke Cage episodes with like a fine tooth comb to make sure that we can pick up every single last Easter egg. And again, I'm terrible at it, so I'm sure I missed a lot in this episode. So I would love to know what your favorite Easter eggs in, in episode four were. So let us know in the comments and make sure you keep up with all our coverage of Luke Cage. We're gonna be reviewing each episode as quickly as I can watch and write about it so you can keep up with that but we definitely want to have a discussion as we binge through this season so for all things Luke Cage keep it here at IGN.